Hello, I'm Justin Mack with Eason LED Video Displays. I'm here today at Full Compass to talk to you about our LED video displays. What I'd like to do is discuss a little bit about the anatomy of our indoor cabinet. So what I have here is I have a pretty much a stripped down version of our indoor cabinet. I also have one of our modules. I have removed the mask from one section of the module. To remove a mask, um, it requires no tools. Basically, the mask snaps into place and snaps out. So if I want to remove the mask, I can simply grab the mask from the corner, unsnap it, and reinstall the mask. To remove a module, since our modules are magnetic, what's nice if I need to remove the module, I simply hit the eject button, and now I can remove the module. To replace a module, I simply grab my spare module, I make the connection for the power cable, I make my connection for the ribbon cable, and replace the module. The sole purpose of this cabinet design is to make everything very simple. As you can see, I can remove, I can install a module without any tools. I can remove and install a new mask, again, without any tools. By using multiple modules, we can create any kind of display or any size of display that's necessary. We take the modules, we attach them to the frame, and then we use multiple frames to create the size of LED display that's needed. The second necessary component for any LED display is the receiving card. The receiving cards come in different shapes, different sizes, and have different functions. Their main function is to take the information from the sending card and take that information, receive it, and then disperse the information to the individual modules that the receiving card is connected to. For our indoor cabinet, the receiving card mounts to a PCB board. The PCB board tra takes, transfers the data to the ribbon cables, and the ribbon cables transfer the data to the modules. To install a receiving card is very simple. Uh, you can remove the existing receiving card. You align the receiving card up with the, the four uh, mounts, and then simply take the screws that you use to remove the receiving card and reinsert the new screaming card. If the receiving card, the hole does not mount up to the mount, the receiving card will not be installed correctly and you will have issues with the cabinet because it will not be receiving the right information in the right spots. The last part of the anatomy of the cabinet is our power supply. To install the power supply, I simply make the connection here on the front, line up the connectors and slide it into place and that's the anatomy of the back side of the connector. The only thing missing from this cabinet are the four modules. And again, I can grab my ribbon cable, tie that into place right there, I'll grab my power for this module, Install the module. To install my mask, nice and easy. And then the only other thing I would need to do is install the additional three modules, and I now have a complete cabinet. That concludes the anatomy of the indoor cabinet. Again, this cabinet can be used for the pixel pitches 3.91, 4.81. 5.2 and 6.25. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. If 
If you need more information, please visit fullcompass.com or pick up your phone and contact your Full Compass sales representative. Thank you very much.